Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup point fourteen point one with me, Alpha Pure Mega. Now with all the Kerbal Space programming and flying in between planets, I felt like it might be a good idea to have another Let's Play that wouldn't focus that much on careful strategy planning and financial situation and instead focused more on action and killing some monsters. So here we go. What is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup? Well, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is an old-fashioned roguelike game where you descend into a labyrinth full of monsters with a chosen character and you try to somehow survive and recover the Orb of Zot. Now, the game is under heavy development and the reason why I'm playing it so much is uh, that there's a great port for Android, so you can download it on Google Play, and I've been spending insane amount of hours playing this game, because it's fun. Now, what is unique about this game too is the fact that apart from starting, you are not limited in any way. So, for example, if you start as a warrior, you can throughout the game learn all the magics and become a mage. And on the other hand, if you start as a mage, you can uh, learn decent fighting and wield many weapons. Uh, the game is based on a system of uh, skill points and levels. Uh, your chosen characters have certain aptitudes and special racial discriminations and bonuses. And you build your character around it. Now for the first let's play I am going with something extremely simple. We are going to play a troll berserker. Yes, it's everything you can imagine it is. It is a troll, so it's humongous, it has claws, uh, skin, it's awfully big and kills and eat things. And berserker means that we will worship Trog, which is a god focused on killing. And killing, and killing, 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 and that is all he focuses on. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. If there is, you know, requests, and if you guys enjoy this uh, short let's play, I might record another character. And with that one we might be a bit more uh, playful. So let me just show you around. I'm going to delete this uh, name. Uh, this game is usually ran and I play it on my phone uh, in ASCII graphics, but for your convenience I downloaded uh, a version with a tile set. So sorry in advance if I'm a bit confused because I'm usual, used to the usual ASCII layout, uh, so this will be a new one for me. So here you see all the characters that we can pick. As a human, high elf, deep elf, dwarves, uh, there are orcs, halflings, kobolds, spriggan, ogres, trolls, nagas, centaurs, merfolk. Now it starts to get a bit weird. We have minotaur, tengu, draconian, gargoyle, formicid, wine stalker, demigod, demon spawn, mummy, ghoul, vampire, ferret, and octopode. Now, my favorite out of these, if I can recommend, is ogre warrior. Uh, troll Warrior or Troll um, uh, Berserker. I also played Hill Orc Warrior, that one is really easy. Uh, you can play as a Deep Elf... Uh, well, I basically played as a Deep Elf uh, Warrior, but that one is really hard. Really hard. Wait... No, it's a High Elf. Deep Elves are focused on magic. High Elf is a combination of magic and uh, warrior aptitudes. Uh, I haven't really gotten that far so that I could try to balance it, but I was looking for someone who can cast a lot of spells, uh, buff himself up, and be um, be sneaky enough to kill people uh, before they kill him. Didn't work out, uh, spoiler alert, but I'm using this character on my phone now to train myself with magic. Uh, as I mentioned, trolls and ogres have a lot in common. Uh, ogres don't uh, don't regenerate as fast as trolls and are generally a bit more, uh, say, relaxed when it comes to your skill distribution. Trolls are really straightforward, uh, but ogres are also a bit weaker, so it depends. Centaurs are focused on spears and bows. I'm also playing a lot of minotaurs, they're really good warriors. I'm 
specializing in mortars, I noticed that there was a lot of uh, Let's Plays on YouTube that focus purely on magic. I'm not a lot into magic. Uh, gargoyles are one of my favorite characters. I play gargoyles many, many times. Gargoyle hunters are awesome. I also love demon spawns. And I tried some mummies and ghouls, though I wasn't really thrilled about those. Dem demigods are also interesting characters, but they're kind of hard. So demon spawns, trolls, and hill orcs are probably my uh, second favorite and gargoyles are the most, but we're going with troll as you know. Now these are all uh, the classes that you can start as. You can choose any, but the highlighted ones are recommended. So for trolls, it gives us fighter, monk, and hunter. It also gives us berserker, warper, which is a warrior mage, and mage, wizard, and earth elementalist. Uh, this is different for each class, but nothing limits you from taking any other character. You can take anything you want. And I think I forgot to read you the description of a troll. Large brutes, ready to maim anything with their claws, never thinking twice. They're always hungry. That is true, they'll have a hard time eating. Um, and we're going with Berserker for this one. Uh, as I mentioned, doesn't really matter who you pick. I can be an assassin and end up as a wizard. It all just um, give. It all just defines your starting skills and equipment. So you can really try out a lot of things in this. I never tried to troll mage. <laughs> I'm, I'm too much of a pussy for that. Uh, but still. So Berserkers believe in Trog, the magic-hating god of frenzy. Not much can stop a raging Berserker early on, apart from Hubris. So this is going to be us. And final choice we have is your focus. You have a choice of weapons. We can start with Claws. Uh, trolls have a high aptitude towards Claws, which is unarmed combat and Maces. They're not really that good with anything else. I'm gonna go with maces because they're way powerful than claws. The claws are much faster. You can do whatever you want. Uh, just note that the game highlights the good ones for you. So we'll go with mace. And here we are. This is us. Oh, we're Graf. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a cool name for a troll anyway. So we're Graf the Cutgular, Troll of Trog. And I'm going to spend a bit of time explaining thing to, things to you guys so that you know what's going on. Uh, and this is us. Here you can see um, the event log. We can check things obviously with a mouse in this version. Uh, in the uh, in the ASCII uh, version, it's a bit more complicated, but um, this is something I'm not really used to. I like the descriptions though. Uh, you have to go for those a, a bit in a bit more complicated way. Here on the right side, you can see all the information about us. So we are, as I said, Troll of Trog. This shows how much our god likes us. He likes us a bit. If we manage to get um, all the way up, he's going to grant us uh, special powers. However, Trog is not a um, really complicated god. You have to kill and sacrifice as many things as you encounter, and then he'll like you. Our health is 22 out of 22, which is a lot, by the way. Uh, trolls have insane amount of health points when it comes to that. Our magic on the other hand is really shitty. We have one magic point out of one. This is our armor uh, armor counter or armor quality, whatever. We have five. Evasion is ten. Uh, this is shield. We're not using shield and we are not going to. So our shield will always be zero. This is our uh, level. We're on one. This is the counter towards next level. When it reaches 100, we level up. Nothing really complicated. This is a counter for gold. This is the current weapon. And this is quivered uh, ammunition. For example, if we had a bow, there would be some kind of arrows here. Uh, but we can use throwing weapons, which we will. So we can pick up javelins, darts, stones, large rocks. You can hurl pretty much anything, even bodies, <laughs> if it comes to it. Uh, these are our statistics. There are only three major statistics in the game. There's strength, intelligence, and dexterity. Uh, strength, 
uh, defines things related to strength. Intelligence is related to magic and dexterity to evasion and uh, I think uh, to a bunch of other skills. Never really bothered all that much. There's, there are quite complicated uh, relations between uh, statistics in the game. Uh, I just go by what seems reasonable. Uh, this is our place. We're in dungeon level 1 and we have passed one turn. Every action takes one or more turns in the game. Now let's look at our inventory. You can see that we really doesn't have much to start with, which is uh, the bane of Berserker. However, uh, we have a god, which is very important. Gods play a large role in dungeon crawl stones. So we have a mace. Uh, it's a zero zero mace. Uh, the first number uh, defines your chance to hit. So if we had a plus two mace, we would be more likely to hit. If we had minus two mace, we would be less likely to hit. The other is damage. So a mace is a short club with a metal head. How inspiring. We are dressed in animal skin, which gives us a basic armor rating of two. Nothing really interesting here. And we have two meat rations. Uh, now let's look at our skill points and skills. So you can see that there's a couple of highlighted skills here, and there's a couple of darkened one, and a lot of things. First of all, these are the skills that we have. We have a fighting skill of 2.4, maces and foils of 2.6. Uh, we have zero in unarmed, unarmed combat, which is good. We have zero in throwing, which is bad. We have zero in armor because we're not carrying any, and we have a bit of uh, skill points in dodging. We have 2.6. Uh, we have nothing in spellcasting and stealth. The important part is here, the train. This is uh, the preset division of skill points that we are going to uh, get and invest. As we kill things, we gain automatically skill points, and they are divided into our uh, actual skills. However, uh, they are modified. The, the growth is modified by the aptitude. So, for example, again, this is fairly simple. I might be just overcomplicated. An armed combat for us is a zero, so we learn it reasonably fast. If we had a plus four here, we would be learning it insanely fast. If we have minus five here in spellcasting, we will have very difficult time learning it, but we can. The aptitudes are modified only by the race you have. So for example, trolls will always have these aptitudes. You can see that we have minus one for maces. We would have a harder time using other uh, weapon types. So that's why I went with maces. We would be a bit better off with unarmed combat, but I don't really like using claws. You can prioritize uh, your skills if you click on them. Uh, or turn them off, so now we wouldn't be learning maces and foils, uh, foils at all, but I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to turn off unarmed combat though. Uh, we are not using our claws, so we wouldn't be training it anyway, but just to make sure. Throwing our keep on here, because once we get some throwing weapons, it will automatically light up and we will stop investing our points in it. The same for armor. The trolls have really high, uh, really hard time finding armor. I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Spellcasting, turning off, and stealth. Yeah, stealthy troll. Big joke. Anyways, this is the last thing I'm going to show you before we actually start. These are the innate abilities, weirdnesses, and mutations. You can mutate your characters, by the way, in this game by uh, eating weird meat or, uh, Quaffing potions of mutation. It sometimes there, there's a huge skill, a huge mutation tree in this game. So it's kind of fun to test it out. Sometimes it works out fine, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see that we are too large for most types of armor. So armor is very hard to find for us. Uh, we have claws for hands, uh, which uh, is why we have such an aptitude towards uh, claws. Our metabolism is waning fast, so we need to eat constantly. We like to eat raw meat. We heal very quickly. Uh, we are a saprovore, so we can eat rotten meat. Uh, we are covered in fur, which gives us a bit of armor quality. And we have a very tough skin, another bonus to armor quality. So yeah, with that said, I think that one last thing I could show is... Uh, these are the god abilities, god-given abilities. As we 
have Trog as our god from the start. That's a huge thing, by the way. We can go Berserker immediately. Uh, we can burn spell books or renounce religion. We're not going to do any of that at this point, but later on we might. So now let's start. Okay, uh, right off the bat we have a rat here. A dirty rodent that has grown large and aggressive in the dungeon environment. So let's go to it. Wait for it to come out. And whack it. You barely miss the rat. And it barely missed us or closely missed us. And now it's gone. We smashed it so it left no corpse. This seems like uh, some kind of uh, weird prison. Okay, there's a giant cockroach. A big brown insect that makes a nasty hissing noise. Contrary to popular myth, they are in fact quite susceptible to mutagenic energies. So let's hit it. We barrel missed it. It caused them as dust. And it caused them as dust. So it's attacking us faster than we are attacking it. But now we sock it and it's dead. You can see here that it says Trog accepts your kill. For every kill, we can gain a bit of faith or piety. Uh, that's the correct term in the game towards Trog and he likes us now we can go to the spot where the giant cockroach corpse is and we can pray we offer the prayer to Trog the giant cockroach corpse is consumed in a column of flame Trog is aware of your devotion for burning and sacrificing corpses you gain extra points from Trog why is this important is because eventually when we get really high up he can start giving us gifts of weapons which are some incredible uh, strong things for us to wield. Uh, but we'll see characters in this game die really fast and really um, I would say surprisingly you may be doing very well and then suddenly you meet a Hydra which tears you apart. Uh, other times you get surrounded by a massive amount of uh, weak enemies and they just <laughs> kill you with their hats. Uh, we found some darts. I'm not going to use them. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's go here. Okay, we found a goblin. Uh, a goblin is a short and ugly, short, ugly and unfriendly humanoid. Squat, broad, flat-nosed, sallow skin with a wide mouth and pistachio-shaped eyes. It looks easy. It is small. And it seems like it's not wielding any weapon. So just murder it. And sacrifice it. Drug is aware of our devotion. Now we got our first potion. We can quaff potions, but we don't know what this one does. So I'm just going to hold on to it for now. There is an auto search uh, function here. I'm going to use it later on when you guys uh, have an easier time following what's going on. So here's a giant gecko. The giant gecko is a lizard with pads on its toes, allowing it to cling to walls and ceilings, and huge sharp teeth. It is many times larger than a normal gecko, yet its size bellies its agility. It looks easy, it is fast, and it is very small, so let's just kill it. And the other gecko is coming to us, so let's kill it as well. And we have already reached level 2, cool! So you can see that our hit points are now 29. We were hit a bit so we have 26 hit points left but we will heal trolls here very fast now i'm going to do a different thing i'm going to chop the gecko corpse and i'm going to eat it mmm that tastes great uh trolls grow hungry very fast uh, but they can eat any type of meat so i just killed the cockroach and the poor goblin so was that a goblin? Oh, I'm not sure. I just killed it. So let's uh, get some more chunks and eat. What did you eat? Dagger. Useless. A sling. Sling is not bad, but I prefer throwing. Okay, where are you? Here you are, goblin. One shot, one kill. Uh, let's chop it up, eat it as well. And you can see that at this point we are full, but as trolls are so hungry all the time, we can easily easily eat way past that so we got 19 stones uh we have them quivered so i'm i guess i'm going to start throwing them on things you can see that the throwing did not light up yet but as we will uh use the stones for the first time it will now here's a scale nail would be good to find it so fast but 
you know, we, we can't wire it, we're too big for it. So let's just throw the stones on this poor innocent goblin and kill it. Okay, it didn't work out. Now I killed it. And what the hell is this? A knoll. Okay, I never saw it in the game like this. I just see a yellow G. A taller and better equipped relative of goblin and orc. Somewhat dog-like in appearance. God damn it, that's... Gnolls are actually kind of tough. Uh, yeah, okay, I killed the... Cobalt, so this should be easy. Oh hell, he has he has a halberd. Fuck, that could have been ugly. We killed him, and our maces and foil skill increased to level three, and dodging skill as well increased to level three. Uh, damn, we still don't learn the throwing. I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of weird, but let's so let's just see. There's a cobalt corpse here, so let's pray. There's a no corpse here. Let's pray. We sacrificed both of them. And now we can continue on our merry way. Uh, we're very close to leveling up. We have 82% of level 3. Okay, let's get this uh, scroll. There's a kobold coming towards us. Is that a goblin? It's a goblin. Okay, let's sack it and kill it. And then we have a corpse, so we just continue on. We got chain mail here. There are some more stones here, so let's get them. We got 33 now. Okay, here's a couple of enemies. We got a bat here. We got a rat and a kobold. So let's just kill the bat and try to hurl rocks on these enemies. Okay, did not work out. So let's just kill them one by one. And there's a cockroach coming, so let's kill it, kill it as well. It hit us. What a tough cockroach. You may notice that we are regenerating extremely fast and we reached level 3. So now we can increase strength, intelligence or dexterity. Uh, I'm going with strength and we're going to get you feel stronger times 2. You see that we had 24 strength and now we have 26. That's because um, of one thing. Trolls gain extra strength every 3 levels. And every three levels, we can also choose what skill we are going, uh, what um, statistic we are going to upgrade ourselves. So I chose strength, and we got a bonus strength, so we now have 26. Uh, next time, I'm probably going with intelligence and dexterity because our intelligence is really, really weak. Now there's a rat corpse here and a bat corpse, so let's chop them up and. Eat the meat that we got, because these things are delicious. We're full again, let's kill this bat. Did we kill it? 